What if I told you there was a way to double your productivity when studying for the FE? A way to be more intentional about your time and spend it the way you want to. Of course, from the title of this video, you know I'm talking about time blocking. Imagine having a personal assistant who plans your weekly schedule down to the last minute. At any given point, you know exactly what you should be doing. Well, you don't have that, so use the next best thing, a time blocking calendar. I explained the high level concepts in last week's video, but now you probably want the details. I'll do you one better. I'll show you how to create one of your own. Hey guys, my name is Kenza, and with my online courses, I've helped hundreds of students just like you pass the FE exam. Okay, so first, what do we need to create our time block calendar? Well, we need our list of fixed obligations like work, family events, and chores, as well as other activities important to your life. This could be gym, hanging out with friends, or recharging. Now that we have our list, Let's go and create a time block calendar. Go ahead and open your Google Calendar and just follow along with me. Now, I like to use Google Calendar because I can use colors and it looks nice and organized, but feel free to use a different app if you like. What you're going to do is create a new calendar and I'm going to name it time block. You guys can not name it anything you like. This is just an example. You can call it schedule for the FE. Really, it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna go back to our calendar. The next thing I like to do is just check off all these so that way I only see the time block, okay? One more thing we're going to change here is Sunday. So I like the week to start on Monday. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm gonna go to the settings and then I'm gonna scroll down here and then it says start week. So let's change that to Monday instead of Sunday, okay? And now we have our weekly calendar. Now let's add the time blocks. So we'll start with by placing the fixed obligations first, then moving on to our important activities. So the first thing we're gonna add is work. So let's just say you have work from nine to five. So the time that I'm using is just an example. You guys feel free to adjust. So I'm going to walk you through how to create a time block calendar and you're going to use the same tools to create your own. So feel free to adjust the time so that it fits your schedule. Now let's change the time here. So we're gonna do nine to five. Another thing we're going to do here is this do not repeat. So we're gonna have that repeat every weekday. Now I know some of you guys might not work Friday or you might work Saturday instead or Sunday, right? So what you could do is just custom and then you can do repeat on whatever days you like. So if you don't want it Friday because you don't work Friday, you can just uncheck that, okay? But for now, we're just gonna keep it Monday to Friday and then we're just gonna hit done. Another thing I would like to change here is the color. I mean, this is just work. We don't have to have a fun color. Let's have the graphite for work, okay? And then we're just gonna hit save. And there you go. Now we have work from nine to five every day. And that block takes huge time of our day, okay? Now let's add commute. So a lot of you guys probably commute to work. And for those of you guys who are still working from home, take advantage of this time and maybe you can study during that time now that you don't commute to work anymore. So keep that in mind. So make sure that you guys feel free to adjust the schedule and make it work for you, okay? So here we're gonna have eight to nine a.m. and let's call this commute and let's have it repeat every weekday, right? Because you probably don't commute during the weekend. And I would also like to change the color. So maybe we can change it to lavender and then hit save. Now let's add commute after work as well. And we're also gonna call it commute. Let's have it five to six and let's have it repeat every day during the week. And let's change the color to lavender so it matches the commute in the morning. And then we're gonna hit save. Now let's place the fun stuff and the important things. Being intentional with your time, it doesn't have to be boring. You maintain motivation through balance. So it's important that you guys work out and recharge and spend time with family 
doing these things and having a balance, that's what's going to help you to stay motivated and consistent with your studying. Now let's add the gym and we're going to add it at 6.15. So we're going to leave a 15 minute buffer between the commute and the workout. This buffer allows for schedule flexibility. And if a task overflows, it doesn't ruin your entire schedule. So for example, if the commute took you more than an hour, you have that 15 minute buffer and you don't have to shift your entire schedule, okay? So we're gonna have gym, let's put here workout. For the time, I'm gonna leave it one hour. I am going to change this though. So let's have maybe workout Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Again, this might change for you, so you can adjust it however you want. Another thing I would like to do is change the color. Let's have red for workout, okay? And then I'm going to hit save. Now, it's important that you guys know your natural energy levels. After a long day from work, you're probably going to feel tired and not motivated to study. So what you can do is place workout after work. That's why I have workout here. This is going to give you a little boost of energy to help you study afterwards. On Tuesday and Thursday, what we can do is light exercising. Maybe you go for a walk or yoga or spend time with family. So let's add that here. Now let's call it light workout and we can do here custom and you will repeat on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then we can also change the color. So maybe to something lighter like flamingo and then we can hit save. The next thing you could do is also add breakfast and dinner. So I did breakfast here from seven to eight. This could be breakfast and getting ready for work. And then here we have dinner from 7.15 to 8 p.m. Now let's add studying. So we're gonna have study FE from eight to 9 p.m. So let's call this study FE. And I know you're probably thinking, Kenza, I need more than an hour a day. The truth is you don't. Our students spend only one to two hours on weekdays and four to five hours on Saturday and Sunday. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. The thing is, we make it really easy for you to study because we provide you with exactly what you need to pass your FE exam. So check out our courses and start studying the right way. Now, let's finish this up. So here, what we're going to do is change this to every weekday. So again, it's going to be different for Saturday and Sunday, and I'll show you guys in that in a little bit. And let's also change the color to tangerine. Now, from 9 to 10 p.m., what we could do here is relax, recharge, maybe watch some TV or read a book. This is the time where you unwind, right? You can also spend time with your family. So let's just call it recharge here. And we're going to leave it 9 to 10 p.m. And we're going to have it repeat every weekday. And let's change the color as well to maybe blue. And then hit save. The one thing I would add, if this is close to your schedule and you do go to sleep at 10 p.m., is maybe adding another hour of studying in the morning, especially if you are a morning person. If you prefer studying in the evening, what you could do is maybe study from 8 to 10 p.m. and recharge 10 p.m. to 11, go to sleep at 10, 11 p.m. and wake up at 7 a.m. Either way, you're going to get your full eight hours of sleep. It's very important that you guys get your full hours of sleep. Don't sleep less so that you study more. That's not a good idea. Sleep helps us with memory, retention, and focus. So you want to make sure that you're getting your full hours of sleep. With that being said, if your schedule does not allow you to study two hours during the week because maybe you work more than what we have here, that's okay, right? What's important is that you show up every day and you study only an hour, studying only one hour, that gives you a total of five hours on weekdays, which is still good, right? So focus on consistency. Before we start planning for the weekend, let's take a look at this block here one more time. So notice guys here that between dinner and study for the FE, we didn't leave a buffer zone. And that's because usually you leave a buffer for the things that are out of your control, like commuting, or maybe you might get stuck at work. But if you have to cut your dinner short to make sure that you show up at eight and study for the FE, then you have to do that. So make sure that you stay on top of your schedule. 
Now let's plan for the weekend. So you only need to study five hours on Saturday and five hours on Sunday. And you can do it in two ways. You can either study for five hours straight or you can break it into two blocks. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that both. And then you're gonna choose which method you prefer. Do you prefer studying straight for five hours or do you prefer breaking it into two blocks? Now let's start with Saturday. So what we're going to do here is study FE and it's going to be from eight to one. So this is studying for five hours straight. This is just an example. And what also I'm gonna do here is repeat, but weekly on Saturdays only, right? And I'm gonna change this to tangerine because that's the color we have here for studying. And then we're gonna hit save. Now, after 1 p.m., you can do whatever you want. You're free, you got your studying done, so you can recharge, maybe go hiking, spend time with your family and friends. There's one thing I would add either to your Saturday or your Sunday is a free period. So a free period also gives you the schedule flexibility. So in case your study session got canceled during the week, because a friend wanted to meet up or you got stuck at work, you can always move that study session to your free period. So free period is for any tasks that you couldn't accomplish during the week, you can do them during that period. Also, let's say you wanted to really finish algebra this week and you couldn't, you can make sure that you finish it during the free period. So the free period, you can really place it anywhere you want. So you can do it maybe six to seven before dinner on a Saturday, or maybe you could do it Sunday. So like we said on Sunday, we're gonna have this study block in two blocks. So maybe you can add it to one of the blocks. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Before we start planning for Sunday, what I'm gonna do is move Sunday here. So that way you guys can see what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna go to settings and then just change this to start week on Sunday and go back to the calendar. And now you guys can see Sunday. So what we're going to do here is take this five hour of studying and break it into two blocks. So we can do from eight to let's say 11, right? So that gives you three hours of studying. And let's do here study FE. And let's change the color as well to tangerine. Now after 11, you can take a break and then maybe come back again and start studying around four. So you could do another two hours of studying here. So that would be four to 6 p.m. And then you could do study FE here. For the day, what you could do is have it repeat every Sunday, right? And if you're gonna also have this on Saturday, so you'll have it repeat on Saturdays as well. And then let's change this to tangerine. We could also add here the free period. So in case your study sessions got canceled during the week, you can move it to here. So we can call this free period, and then you can have it between six and seven, and you can also have it repeat weekly on Sundays. So this is how you guys can do it. You can either study for five hours straight or you can break it into two blocks, three hours and then you take a break and then you do another two hours. And we're done. This is our time block calendar. Look guys, I really want to emphasize the power of time block. Do you guys see how it removes the need for willpower? It's 6.15 p.m. on a Monday, workout time. It's 8 p.m. on a Wednesday, study time. You don't think about it anymore. You just show up and you put in the work. If you were following along, you now have a completed time blocked schedule, which will be a powerful tool for studying. But there's something else that pairs nicely with your calendar, a habit that reduces the need for willpower even further. But that's all the time we have for today's video. If you guys want to know what that habit is, you'll have to watch next week's video. So make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Also, make sure that you guys check out these two videos that I have right here for you, which will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,